this week's dog's life with uh, Dane Beams and his big dog Punter, is it? Yeah, mate. Do you want to introduce your dog and what breed he is? Punter. Punter. Yeah, so he's a uh, French Massif. So <laughs> their real name's a dog, D. Uh, Bordeaux. Yeah. Also known as French Mastiff, as I just said, but yeah, so he's about two and a half, two and a half years old. He's a bit scared, I couldn't bring Killer around because Killer picks on him. You own Killer, mate, you know that. Where's your other two dogs, by the way? I don't have any other dogs. Yes, you do. <laughs> what, what other two dogs live at this house? Oh, my uh, missus has a couple of chihuahuas, but they're not mine, so they're not going on the show, mate. <laughs> Does he do any tricks or anything fun? Um, he shakes hands, so yeah, he'll shake hands for me, but he's not, he's pretty simple, mate. He's, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. A bit like his owner. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what's his personality and stuff like? Is he protective or...? Um, he barks a bit. We actually had to get him a couple of barking collars because neighbours had a sook, so... Um, yeah, he, he hasn't been barking as much, but yeah, he, if someone comes to the gate and stuff that he doesn't know, he's... He's a scary looking thing, but he's actually really soft, so he's a bluff. Um, that's his dad also. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you said he had to get a barking collar. You live on the richest street in Brisbane. Is that why? Uh, <laughs> no, it's just because you got to keep your neighbours happy, mate. And they uh, wanted to complain, so I thought I'd yeah, get him a collar. And the other two, Kelly's dogs are two yappers as well, so they don't stop barking either. Your dog. Chihuahua. Well, you're engaged, so you're married, so they're your dogs as well. No, no, that, that rule doesn't apply for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what's he weigh? Uh, he's approaching 60, so he's about 58, I think, last time we jumped on the scale, so yeah. About the same as Louis Taylor. <laughs> yeah, he actually probably weighs more than Louis. Does he do much exercise? He looks like he's puffing a bit. Um, oh, with these, with these breeds, they're uh, um, sort of prone to hip problems and stuff like that, so. I only sort of exercise him three times a week um, and I've got a few stairs here as well that I try and block off because it's not great for his hips going up and down them and it'll end up costing me an arm and a leg down the track in surgery. Need a bit of Vero pet insurance. Yeah, well I might actually. Do they do that? I'm sure they probably would. For you they would. Yeah, well if they're Vero listening then I might need a bit of insurance for fun. <laughs> Are we going to meet you two hours or not? No, you're not. <laughs> so the prediction is, will Dane Beams win a Brownlow in his career, yes or no? And your dog will decide um, what the answer is. I oh, know. Let's do it. Alright. Yes or no, will Dane Beams win a Brownlow in his career? Let him go. Yes, no. <laughs> 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 he spat it out. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thanks for introducing us to Punter. Next time we might get the Chihuahuas out here and can say good day to them. You can do that in the next 10 years or something, and I'm done. Get the Chihuahuas out here. <laughs>